You know, if it's relationships issues or family issues, whatever it is, I just put it all into my music. I just take all aspects of the things that I experience and put it into my music. Yeah. Whether it's, you know, I'm feeling good one day about having some money. What up, Smiles fam? It's your boy, Smiles with Shane, and we're back on episode two of On The Come Up interviews over here. I'm with my boy, Most Extra, validated CEO. And then we're just in here kicking it. Uh, where you from, fam? I'm from Windsor, Ontario. Um, origin will be Michigan, though. How long have you been doing music? Whenever. I've been doing music my entire life. Realistically, probably since the age of three, started taking it serious around seventh grade. Mm. So music's always been in your household, you know always. what I mean? So that can have a big effect on your life later, you know what yeah, I mean? Absolutely. All right, everyone want to be a rapper nowadays. I want to know what separates you from other people. I'm, I, I don't want to be a rapper. Uh, I'm more entrepreneurship. I look at this as a business. But which artist had effect, most effect on you growing up? Um, definitely Rough Riders Camp, mm. Hypnotized Minds, yeah, that underground shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, obviously the biggies and Tupac's, but that's I find that to be cliche. So. Yeah, yeah. It's like everyone's gonna be answer. Answer's gonna be that, right, right. So, do you have any singles or albums coming out or out right now? I haven't really been working on anything as far as music goes. I've uh. Well, personal music, anyways. I've been more focused on the producing side of music. Yeah. Uh, but I am working on a single right now. All right. I want to know what what inspires your music. What inspires my music is 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 life. It's experiencing life. Everything. I live a very interesting life, so I just take all aspects of the things that I experience and put it into my music. Yeah. Whether it's you know, I'm feeling good one day about having some money or, you know, if it's relationships issues or family issues, whatever it is, I just put it all into my music. Yes. So it's real. Always. <laughs> you got to keep it Always. genuine and authentic, huh? So, like, what can we look forward to seeing from you in the future? You can look forward to seeing my new, my revamped clothing line, uh, validated clothing. It'll be coming soon, probably in the next couple months. Speaking of validated, where can they find you on social media? I don't know. You know, you know put that shit on the... I see a lot of people do music for the love of it. Some people just do it to get paid. What, what do you see you getting from it? I do, I do the music for the love because I've always loved music, but everything that surrounds my music is based off of money and success. It's a hobby right now, but I'd rather take what I love doing and make money doing it. And I love seeing people enjoy the music that I put out. You, right now you're focusing on producing music. Uh, are you just producing music? Are you trying to make beats? I'm just producing music right now. Uh, I used to produce beats when I was younger, but right now it's just producing other people. I want to, I want to help people make the music they want to create. So if you can work with any pro, uh, producers, who would you work with? Definitely, no questions asked, uh, Diddy. Obviously, he's been extremely successful. Yeah. Hits after hits after hits. You know, from Biggie to even modern day artists today. What five artists do you think has the most impact on the hip hop community? Diddy for sure. Jay-Z. Um, Right now, definitely Nipsey. When I when I ask that question, not a lot of people ever answer Run DMC. No. Oh. That had an impact on the culture. You know, the argument's always Biggie and Pop. Obviously. Right, right, right. I'm from the era where it would be Lil Wayne. <laughs> All right, if you can work with any two artists, dead or alive, who would they be? Whew. That's a good one. I mean, That's so not really something that I, I often think about, honestly. Uh, I would probably say Lil Wayne, one of my tops. I would definitely like to work with Lil Wayne. And maybe somebody from, 
like the 70s or something, like the yeah. Rawls or something, you know, like the just the jazz feel era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you can actually make a song about how you feel about a right. girl and not be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? By like everybody that, else. That brings ladies, you know? <laughs> Definitely. All right, ass or titties? Ass. Liquor or weed? Weed. What's your weed favorite strand? I've had this one it was shipwreck. That shit was fire. <laughs> um, I love Indigo. What's your favorite shoes? My favorite shoes are these K-Swiss that I'm wearing right now. Comfort? <laughs> the comfort. Uh, I'm wearing them to work all day. Usually, you know, I go to work, I got some work shoes on, I want to take them off. I can wear you just keep them on and forget them off. Yeah, the yeah. I'm like that with um, the Air Maxes. Okay, yeah. I feel like I'm just, just walking on clouds. Yeah, I'm good all the time. Uh, if you can work with any brand, what brand would you work with? If I can work with any brand, You'll be validated. Who was your first job? My first job was being a DJ for uh -huh. Team Dances. Ah, uh, fire. I want to bring that. You can bring that back now and make guap. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, straight, up. Straight, up. straight up. Straight up. I'm going to ask you, would you rather do four years in the army at war or eight years in prison? Shit. Probably eight years in prison. Yeah, or shit, I could get early fucking parole. All right, your mom and your dad, they do a crime together and they're both getting the sentence to life. But you can snitch on your dad to get your mom out. What are you doing? Hold on, you said they're both in the crime together? Yeah. They're both staying in there. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Talking to a girl for like... Two months, you ain't hit it yet. She lives in another town. You start driving there, it takes you like an hour and a half to get there. You got like 15 minutes to go. You're almost there, you know? She hits you up and says, yo, I'm on my period. Are you smashing it still? Are you I'm taking still, the dirt road? I'm still going. I'm even home. <laughs> I'm still going. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, you yeah. might be light, shit. <laughs> so that's been another episode, man. Let the uh all let them know where they can find you. Um big shout out to all that fucking with your boy. Make sure you hit up my boy, Russell producing. So and remember, smile when you look at me. <laughs>